Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And um, another puzzle by Bert, Bert the Belgian, who, um, what did he give us a week or two ago? Every three and every two. It was a Fibonacci sequence puzzle. Um, this is very different. This is quite new rules. I will try and explain them carefully after a few escapades with complicated rules lately. I do want you to understand these. Watch my explanation of the rules if you're at all uncertain or even think you might be uncertain about what they say on the link to the puzzle. That's my tip. Anyway, um, I will look at that in a moment. I do want to mention that on Patreon, we've got Riff Clown's brilliant interactions, fabulous Lion Sudoku puzzles getting rave reviews. Um, that's... That's out there now. Do join us on Patreon if you haven't already. There's loads of content every month. Um, it is the best two or three dollars a month you could possibly spend. Do spend more. That would be great. Although if you want to spend more and you want bang for your buck, you might want to get our um, our apps, which are fabulous too. Um, and they're all available on the links under the video, along with our merchandise and Sven Sudoku pad. We're streaming occasionally at the moment. Um, check out the live link under the video for those. And uh, yeah, let's look at this puzzle. Harbour by Bert. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. One to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Cells in the cage are the key and peers of the harbour and have no special restrictions. <laughs> okay. Um, all other cells... So that's the rest of the grid. All other cells are either water, the digits one to six, or ships, the digits seven to nine. Okay. A ship has a width of one cell and a length of two or three cells, can be oriented horizontally or vertically, and may not touch other ships, including diagonally. So that's a bit like the game Battleships, which I'm sure you've played. And if you haven't, you might have done it in a puzzle format. Um, so it's this area we're looking at. And ships could look like that, or like that, or like that. But they can't touch each other. So that is an impossible ship formation. Right. Um, cells with a circle are boys in the water. I know there is an alternative American pronunciation of that. Not everybody uses it, but buoy. I don't recognize that. I'm going with boys. Cells with a circle are boys in the water, and its digit, one to six, tells how many cells of water it sees horizontally and vertically, including itself. Piers and ships block sight. All boys are given. Right. So let's just imagine a formation of ships. No. The boy is water. So let's say that was water... That was a ship. That was a ship. I don't know. I mean, I'm just making this up. And that was a ship. This boy can only see three cells, including itself, horizontally or vertically, before its view gets blocked. In that case, by ships. But it could be by the pier or by the edge of the grid. And that would therefore put a three in that cell. All boys are given. That is a negative constraint that might well matter. How am I going to not remember? I mean, how am I going to not forget that? I don't know. Digits separated by a black dot have a 1 to 2 ratio, so one is double the other. And digits on a crane, oh, I see, on a thermo, increase from the bulb. So they on a crane, they increase from the tower of the crane. Anyway, these are regular thermos. They increase from the bulb towards the end. Okay, those are the rules. Fascinating, sort of cave-ish rules, I think, those boy rules are. Anyway, I'm going to have a go now. Let's see how we get on. Let's get cracking. Okay, so the... Right, all the, all the boys are blue because they're water. I'm going to... I'm not Simon. I'm not going to use orange for water and blue for the other bits. I'm going to use blue for water. So this cell, that can't be a ship because it's only one cell. Ships, we learnt, are two by one or three by one. That could be in a ship. So that could be a ship. Um... Um... 
Sorry, I don't know what to do here. Um, we could mark this. This is a number from <coughs> 1 to 6 because it's blue and <coughs> it can't be 5. Oh, because of that. I was going to say because it's on a black dot. Um, that's not that helpful. Ah, I don't think any of these... You couldn't have a 1 in a boy. I think that's got to be right, because that would require... Well, this one could have been, in theory, but every other one of these boys has a horizontal and a vertical neighbour. And, yeah, one thing I know about battleship patterns is you could never have two cells coloured like that, because they would be on different ships, and those ships would touch diagonally, which isn't allowed. So all of these cells are 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Is that any use? These can't be 5, because 5 can see them. I wasn't one. Yeah, this can't be 6. Because in this column, there are 3 ship cells. For that to be 6, all of these would be blue. And that's too many of them, so that's not... Si I mean, this is... I'm getting nothing done here. That is the tiniest fraction of a deduction. Oh, gosh, I'm starting to get hot and sweaty now because I can't see anything to do. Does that have to be a ship because it's on the end of a four-cell thermo? I don't see why yet. Maybe there are some minima for these kind of boys in the wild. I mean, I think maybe three is the minimum for this and this. How could they be two? Well, yeah, I mean, I think that's it. I don't think it's going to get me anything. This could be a 2, because if that was C, but these were all ships, that's a possible layout. And then that is a 2. This could be 2 if both of those were ships. So is it really only those two that can't be 2? Even that could be 2 if there were ships kind of in those conformations, which actually I see isn't possible because that would put four ship cells in the top row, but and there might be another variant of that for this one. Okay, this is now three, four, or six on the black dot. So this is three, six, or two, or eight. Can it be eight and be a ship with a four there? I don't see why not. This black dot doesn't seem any more helpful than the other. Less, because it doesn't have a boy on it. Something about how we put in all the ship cells. There must be something. Maybe there is some holistic obviousness about how ship cells can fit into this grid. Right, none of the peer cells are seen. So... They're kind of limiters. Oh, we've... Ah! Oh, I'm so slow sometimes. I'm also sweaty because I just changed bulbs, and I'm sort of DIY person who thinks changing a bulb or two is an epic experience. We've got a radio ad in the country at the moment that says, Call me hero, I have hung a picture, and that's me. Anyway, um... Right. Those two are blue. Because this 5 has to see four other cells apart from its cells, and it can't get more than two in this column. Now, either that's blue or it's not. Knowledge bomb from Cracking the Cryptic there. If it's blue, those are all orange. Then those would all have to be blue to block that ship from being touched. I, I mean, I'm beginning to dimly see that if we get to place a ship, we might get a start. 
but that could be a ship and there could be a two-cell ship up here. Okay, what happens if that is a ship? Ah, then the five needs those to be blue, right. Yes, that does not work because the three ship cells in box one, I want to call them orange cells, but I'm conscious I haven't actually placed an orange cell in the grid at all. But I'm not going to do that immediately now because if these were blue, making up the five using horizontal and vertical cells, these would be orange, and that is not a possible ship pattern. They can't go around corners. So, both of those aren't blue. So we need another cell horizontally, and now we've got all the blue cells in the top row. Those are all ship cells. These are all blue cells to stop that ship from being touched by another ship. Then three of these are orange now. Ah, this cell is a six. Remember, six is the maximum, and now it's seeing six digits. So that makes this cell orange. That's the second one in its box. This can't be a six by the old friend Sudoku. What was I going to have to remember? All boys are given. Okay, let's keep that in mind as well. Oh, the five is done in the row, so that's a ship. Um, come on, let's keep going. Is that a vertical one, which seems unlikely then? Those would be blue and that would be orange. And that's impossible. Yeah, if that was vertical, the only other orange cell in the box would be here. And that couldn't form a two-cell ship because of this. In fact, this cell makes that blue. This is something to learn in battleship-style puzzles, is a ship cell, its diagonally touching cells are always water. So these are the orange in row two. These are all blue now to stop that ship being touched. That's orange because of the count of cells in box two. We've got six water and three ship. That is now a ship, so that gets hived off, cut off by water. One of those is orange and one is blue. So whichever ship, whichever one is a ship is vertical. Now, can we do any more numbers? No, no, we can't. We've got four cells seen here. This can't be a five because that would be too many cells in the column. Do they have to be a two and a four? I'm not sure. No, I don't think they do. They could be a two and a three. This one, I don't know. We've got another orange to put in row three. This is not three because that is already seeing four. So this is not six. Now, can it be... If it was four, this would be a ship and would be eight. That's quite likely. If it was a six, this is a three, and that will be water, and that will be a ship. That seems quite likely too. This cell sees five already, so that is a five or a six. This, uh, you know, the box border here keeps confusing me. I'm forgetting that we can just look across it. That could be a ship. I keep wanting to say that that's definitely water, but I don't know that. Um, I'm going to say that can't be three, because that would require ships there and there. Since we know whatever ship this is has to be vertical, that would be an impossible pattern. Doesn't really get anything done. Ah, this column, yes, this thermo now. Well, what this, this cell could be... Actually, no, it couldn't be any colour. Now, I have the question of whether I'm going to colour the cells on the pier 
blue and orange? I'm not, is the answer. I'm going to colour them light blue and something like orange, let's say yellow. I'm using light blue to represent a small number. Now I know that's a small number because there are three numbers bigger than it on the thermo. So the maximum it can be is six. Now I now have four small numbers in the column. The most others I can have are two small numbers. They might be on the thermo, but this one must be big, it must be a ship. And that, what does it do to this boy? Not a lot. I mean, that could still be a six with water in all those positions. What about this? Does this have to be a ship? If they were water, no, that would be a ship cell. Oh. I don't know, okay, I, that didn't go as far as I thought we might get. Um, right, this can only see one more cell either side. What does that mean? One side of it is definitely a ship. Um, oh, actually in this column we've had five blues. That might be blue or that might be blue, but these can't be the last blue because they'd have an orange beneath them. So they are both high numbers. Let's make them yellow, not orange. Uh, I don't know if that does anything for the puzzle. It's definitely true. This is two, three, or four. Ah. This cannot be a vertical... This cannot be a ship cell at all. Right. My logic for that is that if this was a ship cell, it would have to be at least a two by one ship going north. But this box needs one more ship cell, which is going to be in a ship going south. And you can't put them there and there because they would touch and anything else is even worse or is a four cell ship, which doesn't exist. So this is not a ship cell. This is a blue cell. This is three or four. We need at least two ship cells here, and maybe three. Ah, it doesn't mean it's a vertical ship. Yes, it does, because the one coming... Yeah, it, yeah, we can't have a ship coming out of here now. We couldn't get enough orange cells into the final column. So that's blue. This is where the ship cell comes out. Now, I don't know if that's three or two, but it, I get a number up here, which is two. I still don't know what this is. This one is a max of five now. That's interesting. If this was a six, all of those would be blue. And that would be orange. We would have a... Okay, that doesn't work. Right, if those were blue, yeah, if this was a six, we've got a problem. Because all of those are blue to make the six count work. Then that has to be orange and has to form a ship with the cell below it. And that's fine for column three. But how are we going to fill column two with ship cells if those are ships? Because all of those will be blue. The only places we have for ship cells are there and there, or for high digits are there and there. And this can't be high if that's blue. And that's blue, because there's no ship being formed. So, this is not a six, this is a four. That is clever. This is a five, and I can complete its count. This is a four, and its count is complete. So that is a high digit. That is the eight. This is part of a ship. I don't know whether it's horizontal or vertical. This is not a four. It can't be a six because it can't see that many cells. I don't know about this black dot. Oh, I've just remembered. I mean, I haven't got any evidence towards it. I've just remembered the negative constraint on boys. That might matter. Now, in this column, we've still got one blue and one high to go.
The, oh, that's the beginning of a ship. These are definitely blue. This is now a six, which I could have determined, well, I mean, I don't know. It is a six. That doesn't tell me what these are, although I know by the count that two are high and one is low. In fact, I know by the count in box six that that is a ship cell. And that is therefore low on the pier, on the key. Ah, and two of these, yes, in this column, we have one more high and one more low. Well, we know the order on a thermo of those. And that, no, that's given me five ship cells in box nine. That's not a six by Sudoku. That's not a six by Sudoku. That, oh, sorry, I've colored this bright blue, but it's not on the pier, it's in the sea. And so is that, that is an orange ship. That ship is complete. Oh, that's been obvious, has it? I don't know, I've spotted it now. Now this cannot be orange because of that ship. That is blue. This is seeing at least three. This one is seeing at least five. Now some of this has to be ship because otherwise we'd have seven blue cells in the column. So that one must be ship. The ship is either two or three cells long. This cannot be blue or this number would be a, what, what is that, a nine. So that's orange. Oh, I could have done that by counting the cells in the middle box. I've now got three orange in column five, so I can color the rest of it. This is not a ship. These are high digits on the pier. This, ah, I still don't know if it's five or six. No, I do. There's a ship in one of these two because that can't be more than six. There can't be a ship here because of that being orange. So there must be a ship here, and that is a five. And this, we know this, it is a six. I can count it now. This one I can count, that's a four. This one I can count, it's a three. Not many cells to fill in. This is blue because um, it's pier blue, because the row has two orange. This is blue because that ship needs to be cut off whether it it's not three cells we've got three orange in the column so those are blue that's bright blue that's blue and on the thermo that must also be blue therefore because it's less than a small number yes okay that is allowed to be a single orange because it's on the pier now, in this column, we've still got two more oranges. In this column, one more, or high digits. In fact, now, no, I haven't quite filled in the whole C. I can do it with this digit, which can't be a four. That's already seeing three, and there's only one more available. That is a three. That is a ship. This must be a ship. And there we are. We have the whole picture of the C and the docks and so on. That's a five by my count. We've got all the boys filled in. We've got three ships on the dock unloading or loading up and some going out to sea and some out at sea horizontally. Um, right, now let's change the colours. Let's go blue and orange for the whole grid because I don't need to keep the distinctions anymore. And hopefully we can just finish off. We've got three orange already in row seven. One of those is orange and one isn't. This one, we must know we need another blue in the column. That's given me five... Oh, what's this? This is orange. I've got five blue in the bottom row. Oh, maybe I... Ah, oh, uh, no, I don't know because of the thermo. Okay, I don't know how to finish those ones off. That's quite surprising. Fair enough, though. Right, orange digits are always 7, 8, or 9. So on the thermo, we go 7 or 8, 8 or 9. 7 or 8, 8 or 9. That must be a 7 in this row. That's 8 or 9. That is 7 or 9, 7 or 9, 7 or 9, 
sorry, I keep typing wrongly. I've got a seven, eight pair in that row, so that's nine. That's seven or eight as a consequence of that. That's not seven. Hmm. I've got this black dot still to tackle. Oh, I need a six by Sudoku in box five. There we go, that tackles the black dot. Right, Sudoku. One of those is a five, it can't be on the high digit. Sudoku, one of these is a five. Two, five, three is in one of those cells in box three, one of those in box one. Four is in somewhere there in box two, box three. The four in row one must be there. This is a one, two, five set. This is now a three, four, six set, and that's a one. Okay, down here somewhere we've got a one or a two. Two, six, four, five. That is now a one, three pair. That's a two, six pair. Ooh, the negative constraint on boys says that can't be a four. This can't be a four. It would see those four. Maybe I should have kept the different colors for the negative constraint. I, I've remembered at least, it's not looking at the peer, it's just looking at those four. So this can't be a four, so it's a naked single, thanks to the negative constraint. It sees two and three in the column, five and six in the row. That is a one. And does that not really help? I was really proud of that. Five or six there, four, five or six there. Two, that's two or four. Two, three or four. Let's keep trying to use the negative constraint. Um... Ah, it's not so... That, no, it's not so applicable. That can't be six. Uh, these can't be fives. That can't be a four. This, uh, seven, is not allowed. Maybe the negative constraint is not that useful. I've used it once. I mean, let's, let's be happy with what we've got. Right, where is one in this column? It's got to be on the bulb. Um, I thought that was going to be good. One, two, nine, seven, eight, six, three used in this row. One, two, four. Um, six is in one of those two cells, probably on the end of the bowl, the thermo. That's one, two, or three. Four is somewhere there. Oh, three is here in box eight. Uh, so that's not a three. Um, these are orange. I've only just worked that out from the column count. Sorry, it's been available forever. These are a sort of deadly pattern, then, of, of colour. I think. I can't see why I'm wrong about that, but you never know. Oh, uh, that's seven or nine. I'm, I just thought this was going to get easier. <laughs> It hasn't really. It's a very clever puzzle. But I'm not going to call it easy. Okay, that has to be... I may have to start colouring these orange cells further. See if that yields something. Nines in one of those are... Ah, that can't be nine on the thermo, and that can't be nine in the blue. So nine in the bottom row, or in box eight, I mean, is in one of those cells, and that is now nine. Does that do anything? I doubt it. What do I color? How about eights and nines? I don't know. Maybe sevens... 
That's one each of seven and eight. Yeah, that's interesting. One of these is a seven eight pair and the other is an eight nine pair. And therefore eight is used in both cases, so that can't be eight. And whatever is elsewhere in this column, whatever is orange down here can't be eight. Hmm. Oh, I've got a three down here looking up at the top of the grid. Uh, that means there's a three on this thermo. Not there, and that's not a one now. Ah, oh, don't forget the negative constraint. That can't be a five, it couldn't be anyway. Um, this can't be a four. This isn't allowed to be a six. Well, no, it can't be by Sudoku. In fact, this is a naked single. It sees one, four, and three in the column, five and six in the row. That is a two. Oh, that could be quite big. Uh, we need a six down here. That's not a six now. That's not a five. We've got a one, two pair. We place five in column five. We've got two in box four, so that's a one, that's a two, that's a one, that's not. This is three or four, so is that actually. Three or four leading to four or six on the top end. That is now a two, three, four, six quad, and I can place one in the column right there. And that is going to give me my remaining colouring which makes this orange on the bulb of the thermo. Well, we know what to do there. 7, 8, 9 didn't need to colour the oranges in the end. 8, 7, I think we're going to just finish off the orange numbering now. Certainly down the first three columns. That's a 9, that's an 8. Done the last three rows. That is a 9, it sees a 7 and an 8. That's going to do it. Now, mistakes apart, that is the orange numbering finito. Hurrah. Right, this is a two, I think. Doesn't it see a five in the column? In the boy, it does. What have we got here? One, three, four, that must be one. And a three, four pair, that's a five. Two, six, four, and a five in the corner. Then we get a four here, that's a two, that's a six. We're gonna get that thermo done, three under four, six there, no fours there. That's a four, three, four, three, two, three, four, and a six to finish. Yes, oh, that is clever. What an interesting harbor puzzle. Probably I should not have coloured in these, but it was very helpful in terms of um, populating the grid with the numbers. But let's get rid of the colours now. There we go. And that is what our, our ocean map looks like, or our, our marina map, and where our ships are docked. Uh, very clever, but very interesting puzzle. I hope you had a go. The rules are slightly complicated, but I think not... Not too badly if you've done any puzzle-style Sudokus before, and great fun to be had, as always, with them. Thanks for watching on the channel, as always. Pleasure having your company. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.